Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks and I just dropped my first ever vector pack, Hand Pack Volume 1. This vector pack consists of 16 different hand poses that you can edit with different stroke width, different stroke colors, different fill colors, making it the perfect pack that you can use for any illustration style. So today I'll be showing you how you can use this vector pack in your own designs and if you're broke and don't have $5 to spend on an illustrator file, make sure you stick around to the end and I'll show you how I draw a hand from scratch. So once you have your file downloaded and you open up Illustrator, this is what your pack will look like. Each hand is grouped together individually and you'll see you can easily edit the fill color just by changing it like this. You can change it to any color you want. And you can even change the stroke width like this, make it skinnier, make it thicker. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can add one of these hands to your own design. So we'll just copy this peace sign and we'll bring it into this design that I have of this strawberry character. We'll see I already have the arm drawn out. So let's go ahead and just paste the new hand into the project file. We can resize it so it fits. And then let's change the color to red. Each hand in the hand pack also has a wrist attached to it. So you see if we delete this wrist, we're missing a little bit of red in the background. So we want to keep that wrist in there, but we can edit it in two different ways to make it fit into your design. So the first way to do it is bring your hand over to where you want to drop it. And then let's double click into the hand. Let's click on the wrist right here and we can get rid of the stroke. So then the, what we need to do after that is grab your direct select tool and grab this corner, bring it up to the wrist right here. Bring this one, bring it up right there, and we can bring this right here. And then if you want to bring this line in to overlap with the arm, you can do that as well. Just like that. And click out of there and you'll see it fits perfectly. Then we can go ahead and just copy and paste some seeds to go on top of the hand. Like that. And there we go, it blends in perfectly. The other way you can make this hand fit into your own design is by essentially turning the wrist into the arm itself. So let's go ahead and just delete the arm entirely. And what we'll do is bring the hand over here and we'll double click into the hand and we'll go zoom into the wrist and just delete this point right here, the middle point. And then what you can do is just continue the wrist down with the pencil tool and draw around like this. Then we'll just add one extra line like that with the pen tool. And let's just go ahead and send it to back. And then we can adjust it like that. Then we can just go ahead and drag these seeds over onto the arm again, back up onto the hand, rotate it. And there you go, that looks perfect. So you'll see the hand pack will save you a ton of time. You won't be spending hours trying to draw hands. Hands are notorious for being difficult as one of the hardest things to draw, even for experts. So you can save yourself a ton of time by getting the hand pack and just dragging it into your design. Now, as I promised, if you don't feel like spending $5 on a vector pack, here's how I go about drawing a hand from scratch. So what I like to do is just break it down into individual shapes. So we'll see the thumb here is one shape. The two fingers are another shape. The pinky is basically just an oval and then the hand itself is an open shape that loops around like this. So I like to have my pencil tool on the highest fidelity because you want to have the least amount of points possible on these so it's easier to edit. So for the thumb we'll just do a small curve like this and then bring it to the left up and around like that and then for the two fingers start right about here bring it up and down and then once more and then let's send that backwards for the pinky it's basically just an oval like that and then we'll send that behind the thumb lastly for the hand start right about here and bring it up and around and then you'll see we have this big open space here so what we can do is continue it around like this and then we'll send that backwards and now it's filled in basically so once you have your shapes all set up, then you can go back in and kind of edit the sizing of everything. Bring these fingers down a little bit. So you see this thumb has quite a few points on it, which makes it hard to edit. So what we can do is grab the pen tool and hover over a point and this little minus sign will pop up. So click on that point and click on this point and we can hold down option and then we can drag this 
to curve it back out. And then you grab your direct select tool with A and now you can drag the thumb out just a little bit more. And then we can edit this point as well. Sort of like that. So you see, you most likely won't get the hand perfect on your first try, but go back in and make slight adjustments and make it just how you want it. So the last thing we would do is add the wrist. So that's basically just drawing it like that, up, and then send that to back. And now you have a hand. Group that together and you're good to go. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any other recommendations for vector packs and I'll see if it's something that I can put together. I'll drop the link for the vector pack in the description below, so check that out. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.